Hi y'all. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. Welcome to the chaos of a category of makeup that I vastly underestimated how much I owned. Yeah, let's get into it. So guys, as you can see, there's a lot going on here. We are doing single eye products. So we're not doing eyeshadow palettes yet. That is coming next. But what we are doing are all of the things that are single eye products. So like my single potted shadows, um, eyeliners, mascaras, things of that nature. And as I was pulling all of this together, I kept going, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, because I own way more of this category than I thought. Specifically, well, I know I owned a lot of these, but when I was pulling them out of the little thingy, I was like, wow, that's a lot of, those are, that, that's a lot of pencils, Amara. That's a lot of eye pencils. So, and eyeliner. So, <laughs> yeah, let's do this category first because I just kind of want to get out of the way. So, we're going to do pencils and then we'll do like, well, actually, let's just pull them all together because that way they can just all get done. Just get it done, you know? So, these are all of my pencily little products in their pencily little ways. <sighs> Over here is chaos. Over here is chaos. But we're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore all that chaos and focus on this chaos. So, I know that this is going to be, a lot's going to go here because a lot has been here a while and a lot of it are things that I don't use anymore that are old, that are dried out and I just, it's just time to call the herd as I've been saying. So, let's start off with my ColourPop liners because a lot of these are going to go because they're quite old. So, first up is this shade here. This is very dry. This is very old. I don't even know if it's still, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's cut. Point mate. We're going to just, that's going to go. I don't even know where that little bit went. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Did that not just start this video off perfectly of what I mean about these things being old and dry? That's going to go. Um, this one I love, and this is the shade Crybaby, but again, it's very old. I'm not getting, even getting, look at that. I'm not even getting any color off of that. It can go. Now, a lot of these are permanent shades, so it's not like I need them. And then this is actually a lippy pencil. I don't know how this got in, in here, but it's a black lippy pencil from ColourPop in the old packaging, so it can go. It just got mixed in. They sit next to each other, so we might come across some lip liners here, or vice versa. Well, no, I didn't find any lip liners in my eye pencils, but we might find some eyeliners in here. Okay, or lip liners. So, the ones that we're going to try and keep are the ones that are in this packaging because these are the newer ones when they're all like the same color. And as you can see, that is beautiful. I'm going to keep that. And that is the shade Icebreaker. So that stays. And then I have here the shade Big Splash. Let's see how this is swatching. Beautifully. These look very similar to each other though, don't they? I don't know. One of those may have to go because they're a little too similar. They're, they're different, but on the eye, they'll probably look pretty similar. If I remember correctly, they do. I then have these two. Um, and this is Cat Suit, which I love. Oh, look how pretty that is. Love that. And I don't use eye colored eyeliners as much as I used to, but I do still like having them as an option. This one is Zulu. Let's see how close Zulu is to some of these. Other oh, whoa. Look at that. Look how close like these three are to each other. Specifically, what is this? Zulu and Icebreaker. I actually think I'm gonna get rid of Icebreaker and keep that one because I actually like the tone of that better. And next to these two, you can actually see more of a difference than you can with that one. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I then have the shade Canopy. Uh, that's very dry. We're going to get rid of that one. It has a little shimmer to it, which I think is one of the reasons why it's not as creamy. Um, this one is Punch. Very yellow, as you can see. Very pretty. I have other yellows, though, so let's see what we can do here with these. So I have Extra Frosting. This one is quite pastel, so I know these aren't going to be the same, but this one's almost white on me, so I don't really see the point in having it because I have a white one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Um... This one over there. Um, and then we have this really bright neon one. This is called Crossed. C-R-S-S-D. Crossed. Crossed. This is pretty. 
but I don't like the formulation of it because it's quite because it's that neon it's kind of got that like white base that's not very easy to like blend and I didn't I remember having a hard time getting this on my waterline so I'm gonna get rid of that one and then I have this one which is to can do it which I believe this is like a shimmery one which I don't love the shimmery although that's really pretty and creamy but I don't really and it broke okay it can go <laughs> when you're doing that and I barely rolled you up I'm like yeah no bye I'm trying to be brutal with these because you know I can be um Jubilee that's so pretty is that an eyeliner or a lip liner that's an eyeliner I'm gonna keep that one. that's pretty this one is cherry pie she's my cherry pie that's really pretty too gonna keep that one um this one is boots barely anything so we're just gonna get rid of that i think it's just because it's so bright and it's kind of a little dried out all right and then finally this is my favorite one this is my this is amethyst hour i use this a ton a ton and i love it oh look it's doing that thing that it loves to do with color pop but we're gonna try to ignore that because i do really love this but it's like this soft lavender lilac tone that looks it works with purples it works with pinks it's just one of those like unicorn shades so this is definitely staying so that's not bad guys i kept let's see one two three four five six seven seven color pop shades and i got rid of nine. Oh wait and i have prance which i'm not getting rid of unless it's dried out because this is a beautiful blue yeah i'm keeping that Kind of makes me want to get rid of that one though should i get rid of this one maybe i should let's see i'm about to make another choice here what is this one this is big splash is this the one that i was swatching that's this shade yeah i think i'm gonna get rid of big splash and keep prance because i i have this one and then i have this one and i feel like that's good and this is again with these lighter shades on my skin tone a lot of that's just gonna look like, like a white <laughs> on me all right and then I actually do have a white from ColourPop. And this is, what's this one called again? Exit. Where did that, was that inside the thingy? Oh my goodness. Okay. So I have a white. I'll keep the white. And I've clearly used this and had a little thingy in it that got stuck on the top. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the white. I got rid of this one. I got rid of that one. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now let's do liquid lip liquid colors from ColourPop. Oh man, these, they just keep popping out. Here's another one. This one is Peach Fuzz, and I think I really liked this. Oh yes, look how pretty that is. Yeah, okay, we're keeping that one. All right, now we're done with the cream gel. No, we're not. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. I think I have. Did I get? Let me make sure here. Let's just look. Because I had two browns, and I know I got rid of one in one year, but I couldn't remember okay yeah so this is the last brown so this is sunnydale and i think i kept this one because it was like a oh wow it doesn't even yeah we're just gonna get rid of never mind and then we have these three liquid liners from ColourPop. so i have a white one which is called graceland i'm gonna keep that one i had two of these i decluttered one and then i have this blue this green one called the hills um it's let's see if it's even yeah, it still works. Okay. I have another green. I want to see if I can compare those. I'm just going to set that to the side for now because that might go. And then this one is just like a nudie tone, which I just like. I just like. So I'm going to keep that. All right. Now we're done with the color pop for now. So now let's get into, and these are not, I, these are stamps. So I, these are color pop, but they're stamps. So I'm going to do these last. They're not actual like eyeliners, but I keep them in with my, my, my eyeliners. Okay. So next up, let's do these Charlotte Tilbury ones because I've had them forever and I think it's time for them to go, guys. I have four of all, like when Charlotte came out, when Shark Shark came out with those quads that were like, she had the, which one was this one called? This was the copper something. What was it called? I don't even think you can see the name on these anymore because I've used them that much. Copper Charged, yeah. So this is Copper Charged. Um, I'll show you what they look like. As you can see, they're quite dry. This is why we're getting rid of them. But I'll show you what they see. Yeah, very dry. Not, I've had them forever. They just kind of need to go. So this was the copper one. 
these were beautiful I, ha I don't even know if she still makes these i don't think she does she should these should be permanent this is the green one this is green lights like the, the quad look at that that green is still performing though yeah look at that baby okay maybe green lights can stay the green lights is one of the ones that i don't use as much as you can see it's like the tallest of all of them so i'm gonna hold on to that the one that i've used the most is maroon mesmerizing maroon and this one look at that i can't even this one's just this one's just yeah no it has to go and then finally super blue barely yeah So I think the only one that's getting kept of those is green lights. All right, next up are my Urban Decays. So I have, do I just have two of these? I thought I had three, maybe I got rid of one. So I have two, I have um, Double Life, which I was obsessed with this one. It's like a espresso-y, look at that, copper tone, look at that, oh, so pretty, keeping. And then this one, I was kind of disappointed in. I, this is the shade Chaos, and I just never felt that this was as pigmented as it should be. It just doesn't go on as glidey as as pigmented as i would like so i'm actually going to get rid of this one i wasn't as impressed by that when i bought it all right next let's do some of these um i have two from moira these were gifts this one is the statement gel liner in purple just purple i wasn't as impressed by these they don't feel as um oh but that sounds so creamy though well maybe i'm just am i tripping y'all Maybe it's the way I was using it. Ah, yes, I was using this in my waterline and I felt like I couldn't get this to show up on my waterline. So they might just be, you know, liners that I have to use on my lash line. This one is okay. This one is okay. I think I have another, do I have another blue? I don't think I do. This might have to do for now because I think I decluttered my blues. So, but it's very, um, these are very gel. Like they're gel liners and they feel like gel. And I, I do find that some gel liners just don't show up on the waterline. The color pop ones are really good because they're creamy and gel. Those aren't creamy. They're very much like a gel liner. All right, next up, let's do my faves, which are my, um, do I have another one of these? I should. Where's the black one? There it is. These killer liners from Too Faced are amazing. So I had these two shades and then a friend of mine gifted me the black one. Um, so this is the black one. It's a black you know it's very creamy though i love that this is what i love about them because these are these go on the waterline so nicely and they stay on the waterline look at that oh and this is camo i think this is camo killer camo they're off killer in the name i don't know why so that's killer black killer camo where's the other one this is killer gingerbread because you know oh look at that shade guys oh i love these so much if you if you ever come across these and can find them like on sale I highly recommend them but they're just so pigmented and nice and if you use them on the waterline they will last they're so nice all right next up let's do my max um so let's do my favorite one which is this okay let's let's just talk about this top you see how this is right I said in another video I'm really too rough on my pencils and I am I just like shove them in the thing and I cracked this so badly and it's just been a mess ever since but this is my favorite one this is Teddy I use this a lot to do wings I'll like sharpen it and then use it as a wing it's kind of just richer and deeper than um what is it called double life but I love it so that's gonna stay I, all my Macs are gonna stay because these are just really Mac does really good liners this one is a little bit dryer but I don't use it as often so it probably just needs to be sharpened because it's about the same age beautiful dark rich true brown and then of course the black one which is um what's this one called smolder I don't think this is as nice and I actually feel like it's kind of dried out so I might get rid of this one actually yeah but I'll get which one do I like look I mean look look at the difference look how pigmented that one is as opposed to the mac I'm gonna get rid of the mac I'm gonna do it I'm like how many blacks do I need you know how many black liners do I need not that many um okay now let's do these melt ones because these are probably all gonna go because they're very old um so I have here is that all of them yeah so I have four here I have one of these might actually be a lippy we'll see this is uh corrupt oh look how close to the oh but that's a really creamy 
Wow, that's still really creamy. Mm. Mm. We have to keep that one. <laughs> All right, this is uh, a 420, not creamy, so that can go. <laughs> like literally, I'm like filling it against my skin. I'm like, yeah, no. This is Bloodshot. This is still creamy, but I don't love the shade, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I don't use that very often. And this one is baked. I I love this, but it just oh, it's so pretty though. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. All right. So next up, so that's it. next up, let's do my only one and only Fenty. These dry out so easily. I got rid of my green one because it dried out. And let's see the purple one. Yeah, look at this. These, if you ever come across these, you guys, don't waste your money on them. They are, I don't even know if she still makes these. Um, this one is the one in the shade, what shade is this? Perpetrator. These are beautiful when they are fresh. The problem is they don't stay fresh for very long. Mine's were brand new. My, my green one dried out in like three months, three to four months. This one I've had forever. It did last longer than the green one, but as you can see, it's like, there's like nothing there. So that can go. I kind of knew that was going to happen because I'd had prior experience. All right, let's do my two Linda Halberg. So this is the old one in the old packaging when it was still called Linda Halberg. The component is doing that. It's very old. I might just get rid of this. I do love this tone, but it's quite, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that. This is the shade Anger Mood. I might repurchase it and get a new one because I do like it. And it's a little bit more of a, this one has a bit more of a, uh, orange base that one's more blue blue base but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference on the eye I'm just you know for informational purposes letting you know this one is the crayon in the shade do, 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 do. is this called crayon what's it called well maybe it is called crayon this one is really pretty look at that look at that the component is annoying it does that thing that com some components do but look at this look at that and the great, thing, the great thing about the Linda Halberg ones is that they're just crayons. So you can use them on the lips, you can use them on the eyes, whichever you want. And this is such a beautiful shade. And actually, I could totally use this as a lip liner. I would probably use this more as a lip liner than an eyeliner. I think I'm going to add this to my lip liner collection. That's beautiful. And I actually have some colors that that would go well with. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this one. So this is another one. This is Killer Cashmere from Too Faced. And this is like off-white. And I have a liquid version from... ColourPop, and then I have this one, and I want to compare this one to the NYX one. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil in Medium, and these all come in like different shades, I think. And they're supposed to be like your perfect nude. Ooh. I feel like I need both. Am I crazy for thinking I need both? Maybe I am, but I do, so I will keep both. All right. Uh, OG House Labs. Look at this. I, this is the one House Labs product from her first, like her first launch, like before she rebranded. And it's really pretty, but I feel like it's a little dried out. It's so pretty though. Look how pretty that shade is. This is like the only thing I ever bought from that particular uh, line before she went to Sephora. It's really pretty though. I think I'm going to try it. Should I try it? Try it again. Let's see if it's... Mm. You know what? I'm gonna let it go. It's still kind of dry and I'm like rubbing it, rubbing it. I could probably make it work, but that's not gonna feel good on the eyes. Um, and then I have this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner um, in Fresh. I love this shade so much. Look how pretty that is. This used to be sharpened, but it's like this shade, but richer. Which now I'm like, do I need that shade if I have this shade? Do I need that shade if I have this shade? Huh, did I get rid of that shade? Let's see, is that, is this Zulu? Let's see what Zulu looks like. Yeah, that's Zulu. Huh. Huh, I think I'm gonna get rid of Zulu and keep this one. They're very different, but on the eye, I don't feel like they would be that different, but this one is so much more pigmented and creamy. I mean, these are creamy, but that one is like even more creamy. Hmm, you know, I'm gonna think on it, but I, if. I might wind up getting rid of Zulu. All right, next up is the new House Labs. Um, comes, I don't know why this comes with a brush because how, like, who's using that? Nobody. Um, this is the shade Chartreuse, and I want to like this, but you see how dry it is? It's so dry, guys. And I think this maybe just needs to be warmed up and sharpened because it is quite low, but 
I don't know. I'm not a fan of this particular tone. I hear the other ones are good. I think because this one has such a large, such a, such a heavy white base. Kind of similar to that. I'm going to think on this because I might sharpen it and it just be fine. And I have been able to use this and do like eyeliner with it in the past, but it might just be dried out. That would suck because these are, this is very expensive, but I'm going to hold off and see. I'm going to, I'm going to try this off camera. I'm going to like sharpen it and then see if I can at least swatch it and get a decent swatch. If not, I'm going to get rid of it. Some other, one other, um, LA girl, and this is the shade never ending navy now this one is one that was on the chopping block and i was going to get rid of it and then i was like no and now i'm like yeah because i can't even get it to do anything so bye bye all right and then a liquid dior this is in the shade oh my foot is going to sleep oh hold please oh my foot is trying to fall asleep i've been here for a very long time and my foot is like please move me um so this is in the shade what shade is this matte pop green let's see mix with color pop you see how they're not that they're different but not you know like not that different so this is the color pop liquid and that's the dior i like them both yo green is my favorite color so i have a really hard time getting rid of greens because i do love them both but this kind of makes me want to keep both so i'm just going to put the color pop right there mm -hmm, right there all right now i have this holica holica liquid liner and this is my own one of my only like liquid black and but I forgot I had this one we'll go over that I forgot I had that and I'm gonna try it but this one is the Holika Holika it's not great but it still works it's not great though it's not my fave but I'm gonna keep it for now and I'm gonna te then test out this bite one remember bite rest in peace bite I bought this little duo when they were going out of business and I haven't really used this and I'm like I should use this it's definitely not as pigmented as the Holika Holika but it might be more easy to work with so we'll see i'm gonna hold on to that for now and see if i can get something out of that this is a smudge pat mcgrath black smudge liner eye coal this is just annoying to use and i'm just gonna get rid of it it's really thick and wide i mean it's a smudge liner so i get it but i feel like i can like i did use this as a base and i did really like it as a base I use this as a base for a really pretty smoky eye and it did work really well. But yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Only reason I'm keeping it is because it is quite functional. I don't love these types of products, but it does come in handy. This, they don't even make anymore and it's old as Methuselah, but I'm gonna finish it because I love it so much. So this is a liquid liner from Melt and it's in the shade Molten and it is a brown liquid liner, guys. And it is like the perfect chocolatey brown and I love it so much. And I will continue to use it because it is beautiful. And then I have these bad boys from L'Oreal. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but these used to be amazing. And these were some of my few like liquid liners. So this one is the maroon shade and it's kind of shimmery, but I don't use this. So I'm going to get rid of it. What I did use was the blue one and I actually repurchased this. And this is just in the shade. <laughs> like it doesn't even have a name. It's just blue. Um, I used to love this. I don't know if this, oh, let's see. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's still rocking. Oh, look at that. It's so bright, I'm keeping it. I didn't realize it was still, still good like that. Okay, okay, I'll keep you. All right, and this is the new, one of the newer items to my collection. And this is the Victoria Beckham Satin Cajal Eyeliner in Smoky Quartz. And I love this so much. I'll show you what it looks like. Look at that. It's super creamy and blendable. It's kind of like, halfway between this green from the Charlotte Tilbury and then this shade from um what is this shade this who is this this is all right guys my battery died which I did not realize so I don't know where I left off but I was showing you guys the um Victoria Beckham liner that I am keeping this is the smoky court shade it's beautiful yes beautiful all right, I moved the ones that I'm keeping out of the way, and then we f we have these three here. This one is like separated and gross. These are all from Lime Crime, so I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's just you know separated and gross. And then these three, I want to see because I kept the blue liner from L'Oreal, and I want to see if this one is. Mm, I mean, it's very pretty. It's very pretty, but. 
feel like it's kind of starting to dry out not really I mean maybe it's just separate it because it still feels creamy when I apply it let me see if I, I'm gonna let these dry and see which one I like the finish on like the color once it's like set and depending on that I'll decide if I'm keeping that or not or I might swap one out for the other this one is kind of separated too this one is and by the way this one is the shade Oasis I don't even know if they still make these guys um, I'm gonna get rid of this light one because I just I'm not gonna wear it but these two mm -hmm. I love tones like this this one's kind of very close to my skin tone so I don't know how like much of a difference is oh god but look how pretty that is look at that I'm definitely keeping this one and this one is the shade Fawn so you go over there and then I have this one which is in oh the sticker's gone I don't know what shade this is but it's kind of like an orangey corally brown oh that's pretty too okay I'm gonna keep these two I got rid of the other two the pastel ones and then let's look at this one here and see which one I'm gonna keep I really think I'm just going to keep the L'Oreal one and get rid of this one because I like the tone of this one. It's just a bit more vibrant, you see, than that one. All right. Then we have these stamps from ColourPop and they're all shaped. This was a heart shaped one. This is a moon, half moon, and these are stars. These are all super duper cute and I'm sure I can get some use out of them. My problem with these guys. They are so pigmented. I've used these in video, like in pictures and stuff on Instagram. And I had the time, I had a time getting these off of my face. I could not get these. Like, I don't even use, look, they have like dust on the top right here. That's like, that's how little I use these. They are like glue. They're like ink. It, they're so hard to get off. And so I, though I really love these, I had such a horrible time getting them off my skin that they scared me off. And that's why they don't get used so yeah all right now let's do mascaras it's not a whole lot to see here but let's get it done i mean well there's more than i thought all right so mascaras doo -doo 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 -doo. all right these are my mascaras all of these are going because they're super old so i have two two l'oreal voluminous in the shade uh green and blue i guess this is deep green and let's go cobalt blue there you go green and blue like i said um this one is a great lash i used to just use this on my brows and these are two really old fenty ones that i use maybe once or twice and just never use again so this is full frontal and ivy league and miss merlot those can go this is a bite i thought i had a backup of my bite and i can't i wonder if this is the backup and if it is that means this is gone this is done for yeah oh no I swear I have a backup of this somewhere and I can't find it. All right, that's going. It's dead. This is a mini of the Rare Beauty. I've had this one forever. It's dried out. It's dead. It's going. These are my three current ones that I've been using. So I bought this on a whim in Vegas. This is the Sephora Lash Craft in length, length and volume. I think there's another one that's like, I can't remember what it's called, but I don't love this. I don't hate it, but it's there. It's, I mean, it's open. I'm using it, whatever, you know. Um, this one I've actually really been loving and this is the e.l.f. Lash Extender. I've gotten so many compliments on my bra on my lashes wearing this in, in comments on videos in real life. This is a Tubi Mascara. I believe it is a, a dupe of the Thrive Tubi Mascara, Thrive Cosmetics Tubi Mascara, hence the like, you know, turquoise top. Um, love this. I've actually really, really been enjoying that. So I'm going to use that up. I then have this YSL Lash Clash Mascara in brown. This is my brown mascara that I love so much, so that is not going anywhere. And then for, and this is leaking, which is driving me insane. What is that? Oh, that's where that fell. I had a pencil that like popped and I couldn't find the thingy. That's where it fell. There was, it was sitting right on top. It's so random, anyway. This is leaking. I really like this, but I also hate it. This is the Natasha Denona um, eyeshadow base. And this is just such a mess. This was my go-to for a really long time. I think it's time for a new one, one that doesn't leak. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And that's why, it, like, no matter what I do, I, it just keeps leaking. The Tone Activator from Kaleidos Eye Primer, not my fave. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this is a really old eyeshadow base from ABH. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is my old About Face Beauty eyeshadow um, shadow fix primer. This is the new one. Um, 
this one can go this is dried out this is the new one that I've been using I also have the Pat McGrath intensifies long wear primer I didn't love this um part of me doesn't want to get rid of it because it's newer to my collection but it's one of those ones that are quite um serum -y. and I need something that just has a bit more tackiness to it because this my 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 eyeshadow was still was creasing and my eyeshadow doesn't generally crease unless I'm using like not using a primer at all or using one that is just a little not dry enough you know so this one yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I'm not gonna use it I will keep the intensifies artistry wand it's not like a fave but it does come in handy when I don't want to use like a lash glue or a, sorry a glitter glue which I do have a glitter glue <laughs> I just and I'm gonna keep this because it does come in handy I just never reach for it and then I have this eyeshadow base from Urban Decay and it is the the shadow um the what is it called primer potion can't talk and caffeine and I like this one because it's colored so if I want to put like a colored base on and I do like how dry the shadow fix can get yeah I'm gonna keep that this needs to be cleaned out because that one was that Natasha Denona was leaking all over it but this is what I'm keeping so I kept I got rid of what? One, two, three, four, five primers. That's not bad in keeping these. That's not bad at all. Well, I'm happy with that. All right, guys. So now let's do shadows, single shadows. <sighs> let's go. Oh, before we do that, let's do these potted liners that I have from Lethal. I bought these and I barely used them and they just started to do that. Um, these are these were closed tightly they still had the thingy on them they still dried out this was a waste of money for me kind of annoyed kind of annoyed by that because I barely got any use out of these um, and all of them have done it all of them and these are tied tightly so it's not even I don't even this one too and I really liked this one this was Hertz so all of these have to go because none of them are usable and that's really annoying so yeah really excited about that um yeah so i'll move that out of the way and now we can get to let's do let's do liquid because i have a ton of liquid shadows over here so let's move these over here so you guys can see them All right, guys, so these are all the like liquidy shadows. And if you heard a drop, that was some stuff that just flew off the side of the desk. We will ignore that, okay? So <laughs> these are all of my liquid shadows. Um, as you can see, I own quite a bit and I own a lot of Danessa Myricks, which <sighs> I do regret buying as many as I did when I did. I think I wish I had sort of like bought one at a time because some of these just have gotten more use than others. Um, these bright tones, first of all, this, um, yellow is amazing and I, it's called, it's called primary yellow. And what I love is I love yellow eyeshadow, but on my skin tone, because my skin is neutral with slightly yellow undertones, they can kind of like just blend into my skin, which is really a bummer for me because I want to pop a yellow eyeshadow just like everybody else, but it's hard for me to achieve because for that reason. But using something like this that is so pigmented that shows up on my skin so well um, has made it easier for me to do that. So this has actually been invaluable when I'm trying to do like a yellow eye look, which I'm tempted to do tomorrow, but we'll see how I feel in the morning. But yeah, this is stain. And honestly, I, all of my Danessas are stain because they are really beautiful and I'm hoping to get more use out of them based on like culling other things in my collection. Because that's really the issue is that, you know, you sometimes you can have so much makeup you simply forget to reach for things, even things that you really like. I love this clear glaze. I don't use this on my eyes, but I love using it on my lips, like when I want to make a lip, like a matte lip look glossy. And it actually lasts a pretty decent amount of time. The black, the white, I mean, you can mix that with things. These are really good. These are, um, you, these are supposed to be lip, cheek, and eye colors. And I've always been tempted to try this as like bronzer or contour or something but i actually do use these on my eyes these are first of all because these are incredibly pigmented they can dry a little fast so you need to be careful i would say you just use a little bit and move on you know blend 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 but all of these are stained but i did want to show you what i had so i have primary yellow i have 
This is called Wasabi. Everybody calls their green Wasabi. It's so funny. Blackout. Uh, Carrot Top. Lift. These are the nude ones. So this is Nude 5. Nude 7. This one is Exposed. This one is Nude 12. So yeah, all of these. And that's clear. So all of these are stained. I'll sit them over here. Now let's move on to these because we are culling the herd over here. So this I've had forever. This is a, um, a chrome highlight cream. This is Impel Gold 002. And this is something that you should be able to use all over your, anywhere on your face. It's very um, thick. It's very pretty. But I've had it forever. Oh, God, look how pretty that is. I've had it forever, and I just think it's time for it to go because I don't actually reach for it that often. And it has a tendency to ooze as well. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. Loved it though. It was a really beautiful formula. Um, this is the House Labs one in mint matte. I'm going to hold on to this for now. I really want to try these in some of the more natural tones. Um, but I do like it in this. Look how pretty that is. Stunning. These are very pigmented, very blendable. I actually will say I prefer the colorful liquid shadows from House Labs and I do the ones from About Face, but we'll get into my issues with the About Face ones in a mo. But I'm keeping that one. I'm gonna wipe my hand off because that's very sticky. Yeah, okay. And I don't wanna get that all over. Like these liners are kind of sticking, but that was quite liquidy. Um, then we have these from Ollie, um, Smashbox. These are the Always On Cream Shadows. I think I'm gonna keep Okra. It's a little bit different of a tone than the other yellow I have from Danessa. If I can get this out, is this dried out? Let's see. Is it? It might be. Oh no, it's fine. Let's test this. Let's, let's test these yellows up against each other. I do really like the softness of the, the the Danessa one as opposed to the Smashbox one. It's just more liquidy. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep the Danessa one, and I'll get rid of both of these Smashbox ones. I'm getting rid of ultramarine this just this is a pretty shade but it stains you guys it stains my eyes so badly and it just kind of scared me off from ever using it again and ochre because i like the as you can see this one is just much creamier and more pigmented and i feel like it'll, it blends easier i've used both of those and it's not that the smashbox is bad it's just that the danessa is better and they're basically the same shade so i'm just going to get rid of that um, okay, now let's talk about the About Face Beauty. So, when I first reviewed About Face Beauty on my channel, I hated these, um, I, what are they called? The, what are these called? Fluid eye paints. I hated them. I didn't think that they were pigmented. I had a hard time getting them to, like, blend. I used them as liners, and that was basically it. And I still kind of stand by that, because the thing is, is that once you blend these out, they're actually quite sheer. And I'll show you what I mean. So you see how I'm blending this out and it's just kind of slowly shearing out on my eye, on my hand. It does that on the eye. Same goes with the blue one. Um, the green one is actually pretty pigmented. So when I first tried these, trying them in these shades, I was actually really underwhelmed by them and I didn't like them and I just, I didn't recommend them. And I know a lot of people are like, no, they're really good. You really need to keep trying them. And I was like, I don't like them guys. Um, but I had bought these three shades and I really liked the blue one. First of all, let me just say, I love this tone. I love this tone. So much. obviously I kept that and I kept that. I love this tone, but I just don't like this formulation. But then I tried it in the more natural colors and I loved it. So I have it in the shade Capulets and, um, what's this one called? Smells, smell before, is it smell before rain? Yeah. Um, so Capulets is pretty, um, light on me. It's kind of like my skin, but better, but it's a beautiful sh base, like a beautiful color to build on. So to blend this out as a crease shade and then put shadow, you know, do a shimmer or whatever. And then smell before rain is more of a cooler toned shade. I'll show you. My hand is like covered. Um, as you can see, but these, these tones, the natural tones are beautiful and I want more of them. These I am definitely keeping. The green one I liked more than the others as well. And I'm just going to swatch this and see if I still like it. If not, I'll get rid of it. Yeah, I do still like it. I just feel like it's more pigmented. It just, it performed better. These, and I think it's because these are so light and bright is that they have a lot more, um, they don't have as much body as this dark green does. So I felt like this one performed better, but I loved these. So I'm keeping these three. 
And then I really loved, oh, I forgot my other fractal glitter. Oh, please. Okay, so this is the old fractal glitter um, packaging. It's terrible, but also we're gonna we're gonna deep dive into this really quickly. Um, I have the fractal paint paints in um, which one is this? This is Smolder, and then this is Imp Apollo Empire. Um, I haven't used Smolder that much, but it is starting to dry out on me. It still works. It's beautiful, as you can see. That's stunning. But this is st these are starting to dry out. And what I find about these and this packaging, oh, it's still really pretty. Oh, God, look at that. This is the newest one to my collection. What I find about this packaging with the glittery um, shadows is that they, they, they seem like they're going to dry out faster than they would in this packaging. So while I think this packaging is better and more cohesive with the rest of the line, I don't know if they are as long lasting as they are in this packaging. So this is the OG. This is um, Fracture. This is my favorite glitter shadow, liquid shadow. And I show you, I'll show you in a minute right now. Here you go. There you go. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's stunning. It's stunning. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. I just wanted to show it to you guys and I had forgotten to bring it over here. But yeah, these are the, the three colors. So I'm getting rid of these two. I love these shades. Don't love the formula. But in the natural tones, I mean, look at that. So pretty. That green, look how pretty that is. And then look at that. And I know I wiped this, but look how light it is. Like how it's, that's how it looks on my eyes. So on my eyelids. So that was my, my gripe with them. Now, let's move on to my Too Faced, which are, these are some of my favorite, favorite, favorites of all time. And so um, this is the shade Warm and Fudgy, and I feel like these are finally starting to dry out or I'm running out of product, but this is Warm and Fudgy. They're not drying out. I'm mostly just running out of product because I do use these quite often. And this is Chocolate Bunny, and I think Chocolate Bunny is the one that's kind of running out. I could be wrong. Yeah, it just kind of feels like it's hitting the bottom of the bottom of the pan. Look how pretty those are. And then I have this one and this is I believe chocolate and wine. And I think this is the one I'm going to declutter guys. I haven't used it in ages. It's pretty, but I just don't reach for it. And I think it's just because it's a very dark shade, as you can see here. I just don't reach for it as much. It's a beautiful, this is a beautiful product. This is a beautiful formulation. And it's actually the formulation that this was the gateway, my gateway to liquid shadows and really wanting to you know, experiment with them. But these two here are my go-to. Like I either use cap, like Capulets or is it Smell Before Rain? I can't remember. This one and then these two are like my jam when it comes to like my base when I'm just doing like a simple eye look with like a cream sh matte shadow and then a shimmer. These are my go-tos. This is like my bread and butter. Next up, let's do these Pat McGraths because these, I do believe some of these are going to go. So these are her liquid, um, what are these called? Her fetishized longwear liquid eyeshadows, and they're all uh, metallics. Um, I'll show them to you. So this one is platinum bronze. This thing is drying out along the edges, but you know, it is what it is. So this is platinum bronze, very pretty. Um, this one is divine champagne. Don't use this one as much. It's very light, a little too light for me. I have Luna Rose. This one I liked more than I thought I would like it. Very pretty. As you can see this like really rose gold tone. And then finally I have Cosmic Chartreuse, which is the one that I thought I was gonna really love. And it's probably the one that I've used the least, but it's still very pretty. So this is what that looks like. Now, these are, Okay. They're not amazing. They're not like groundbreaking. They're not, if you're looking for something that is like high impact glitter, blah, blah, no, these are metallic liquid eyeshadows and that's what they are. Um, I like this shade more than I was expecting to like it. I like this shade more than I was expecting to like it. I like this shade less than I was expecting to like it. And this one was just like, I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep these two and I'm going to get rid of the other two. So we're keeping Luna Rose and Platinum Bronze. Then we have this hodgepodge here of just like single ones. Well, I have these two Stila, but 
I have this one from Half Magic. This is the Chrome Addiction and ASMR. I really wanted to like this because I really love the tone of it. But guys, this is just so dry. And I feel like it's already drying out even more. It's just very dry and it kind of gathers on my eyelid. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. But it just doesn't perform on my eyelids the way I would want it to. And so I'm going to get rid of it because I found that when I was applying it, it was just bunching up. And I've used that since I reviewed this. Um, I've tried to use it just as like a shadow. And it still does that. It still bunches up and fades. And it just doesn't stay on my eyelids. So this has to go. And then I have this Bodyography shade. Um, this is Smoky Topaz. I really want to try some of the other Bodyography shades because this one's probably not the not one that's that all that spectacular, but it is really pretty. I mean, look at that. Oh, that's a good combo. I don't think I've ever applied, put those two together. Okay, keeping. I mean, I was keeping it anyway, but mm, maybe I'll do that tomorrow for work. That's pretty. All right, and then I have one of the Chromium Liquid Shadows from Natasha Denona in the shade Infernude. I don't know what this looks like, guys. I looks like because I haven't used it in ages, and these things tend to dry out. And is it feeling dried out? Yeah. Oh God, it's so pretty though. I might keep it. It's still it's still working. It's just I can tell that it's on its way out. Look how pretty that is. I used to apply this all over my lids and I would just get so many compliments. I'm going to try and test this out tomorrow and see what I think. I actually really like the idea of applying this and this and then applying this over it. That one looks stunning. Wow. Okay, I look. <laughs> um, and then I have two of the Stila. I have one of the... Which one is this? This is called the... This is the matte one. This is the suede shadow, suede shade, yeah. And this is in something blue. And I feel like this is probably really dried out. Yep, very dry. Look, <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so let's tell a story. This happened to me with another Stila suede shade. It was the green one, the army green one, or like the like spring green one. The thing fell off and it fell off into the container and I thought that was a one-off I was like that's weird I'm really bummed about that but I hope that's I don't think that that's like a regular thing and then this happened so yeah Stila what's the deal with that your makeup is very expensive and it shouldn't be doing that um I was getting rid of this because it was dry but I just wanted to talk about that if you own these or if you were thinking of owning these I haven't seen it with these shades we're, we'll see but I've definitely seen it with the suede shades and yeah that's unacceptable it just literally that was just literally the doe foot just like off like broken it broken off of the actual component that's wild all right this is the shade vivid sapphire i really love this i hope it's not messed up or too dried out oh it's kind of dry but look at this shade can i get this to work listen to that sound can you hear that Can you hear that? That is so unbelievably um, <laughs> dry. It's dry. Unfortunate, but this is Vivid Sapphire. If I ever come across this again, I would repurchase it because, I mean, I mean, beautiful. All right. Now let's move on to Potted Shadows because we have a long ways to go. All righty. So let's just bring those out. Let's do it. oh before we move on guys i do have this one liquid shadow from moira that i am getting rid of but i just want to show you to you this is the shade this and that it's like a double ended one this shade is pretty this one on the uh, one side but this shade here is just not the biz it's just kind of sticky and it also just isn't that i mean it's pretty but on the lids it doesn't last so i'm gonna get rid of that Alrighty, and that was kind of shoved in with random things, which is why I didn't realize that it was it was an all round. All right, guys, um, I'm definitely running out of space here. So these are my potted shadows. Let's move that because that's a single shadow. These are the ones that are in little pots. I'm gonna do little potted ones first. So let's start off with my auric. All right, so I have two orics. I have two from uh, two shades from when they did their limited. Well, they're not limited edition. They're still on the website, but they did like their holiday collection. Um, and I bought the Holiday Duo, so I bought, they came in the shade Disrupt, Smoke Reflect and Disrupt, and Smoke Reflect and Entice. 
I recently pulled out Entice and have been using it quite regularly and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's this really, really beautiful um, sort of green, olive green, shimmery tone. Look how beautiful that is. It's so creamy and beautiful and it also has a, a sh like a glitter on the top. This one cracked when I like dropped it and it cracked, so I don't really reach for this as much. Um, what? And I don't think I'll keep it. It's attached to the to the top, but I don't really use this. So if there was a way to just take this off, I would. I don't know if there is. If there is, I'll just do that. But yeah, I don't really use that part. Um, and it's kind of dried out a bit, so I'm not really into it as much. But the actual cream shadow, stunning. Then I have Disrupt. And this one, I just don't know if I'm going to keep, guys. I haven't used it in ages. It's beautiful, as you can see. They're still, these are still in such great shape. Um, let's, I'm going to set it here. I mean, look how pretty that is. But I just, like, if I'm going to wear a color like this, I feel like it would be in a, in a, a powder shadow, you know? I don't know if I'd use it as a cream. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, and I'll show you the glitter part on top. I'm getting this, I'm getting to entice all over everything. I'm gonna wipe my hand in a minute. Um, let me see if I can get this open. So this is the shade on top. It's really stunning. It's kind of like snow flushed, but I do feel like it's maybe got a little hard paint on it, but look how pretty that is. I wish I could just keep this and get rid of, like, the opposite. Like, I want to keep this topper and get rid of the bottom, and I want to get rid of the topper and keep the bottom of that one. That's funny. But, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. All right. Now, I have to wipe my hands off because I was going to get on everything. And it's still, like, on everything. All right. So, next we have these Danessa Meyer ones, and I can already feel that they're, like, dried out. These are the, um, what are these called? The Chrome Flakes. These are one of the first few things I ever reviewed on my channel and I talked about the way that they performed and I got a lot of pushback on them but what's funny is as time has gone on a lot of people have agreed with me and I talked about how these dried out really quickly and um yeah so let's see what they're looking like let's let's see <laughs> all right um this is very dry oh wow this is really true. I mean, it's in here. At least it didn't completely disappear. Because the one time, there was one that, like, it just completely disappeared off the pot. How stunning that is. Let's just, I mean, don't get me wrong. These are, oh. this is fireball, by the way. Oh. I mean, it's still light enough. Like, there's, it's still wet enough that I can get some use out of it. And so I'll probably keep this one because I really did like fireball, the color. Um, but I have to use it very sparingly on my eye because it just doesn't. It just doesn't, my eyes and it don't get along. It just kind of disappears and lifts up whatever I, I put under it. So I have to be really careful about what I put under it and how much I use. It's very, thick. it's very finicky. Um, and then this is lightning bolt. Let's see what this is looking like here. Let's see. Oh, that one's actually doing all right. I'm surprised. Wow. Wow. I want to touch this, but these get everywhere. Hold on a second. I just want to see. It's getting on my nails, but. That's my fault for putting nails on knowing I was going to be swatching things like this. So I'm just take a little bit of this and set it here. Pretty. I don't think it's as pretty as Fireball, but yeah. I think I'm probably just going to declutter this one because I don't think I'll ever reach for it. Fireball I would reach for again, but Lightning Bolt, I'm like, eh. All right, and it's very sticky on my fingers. I wish it stuck to my eyelids the way it sticks to my fingers. Just saying. All right, can I get this off? Yeah, it's mostly gone. Okay, next up is Bodyography. This is the shade Prism, and this actually came as a duo with the other shade that I showed you, this shade here. Um, and I haven't really used this. And what is this? this is, I said Prism, right? Let's see what this is like. Because I haven't really... Oh, oh, and I totally just did my nail in it, but I don't even care. Why haven't I been using this? Can someone explain that to me? What's, what's, what's my deal? Why haven't I... Been, been, oh, stop. You know what this kind of reminds me of a little bit? There's that shade that just came out that, or that, I don't know if it was restocked or just came out from Half Magic Beauty that everyone on Instagram was like losing their minds over. I think Katie Jane Hughes used it in a video, in a 
like a tutorial. This kind of reminds me a little bit of that. It's not exact, but it kind of has that same vibe. Haha. Uh -huh. Keeping. I don't know why I haven't tried this. I just haven't. I've had it and I haven't tried it because it came with this and I was using this one. So keeping that because that's stunning. Let's get rid of two. And I can tell you right now which ones they're going to be. They're going to be this shade from, this is the No Bush Cream Shadow from Elf in the shade Sand Dune. Look at how this is dried out. And this is, this kind of was like this when I got it. Like I could not for the life of me get this to actually apply to my brush, apply to my eye. I think I just got a bum one and it's because like literally look at this. It was, it wasn't cracked like this, but it was dry like this when I got it. And I was really bummed out. I got it. I ordered it from Ulta and I just wonder if I just got a really, I just got a, a lemon. Um, this one on the other hand is incredibly creamy. And that, when I saw how creamy that one was, this one was, I was like, oh, that one's definitely like not working. But this just was like Cheetos. This looks like Cheetos on me. And I'm, I'm not, I bought it because I'm like, oh, that's such a pretty color. But I mean, come on. Am I going to wear that? No. So the, this is going to go. I don't know what I was thinking. Swipe the Cheeto off my arm and because that's just going to get all over everything. All right. And then let's talk about my two phytosurgeons. So I have the shade Crystal Constellation. She looks like this. She's beautiful. I'm going to swatch her for you. How pretty she is. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. I'm mixing it with the other shade, but you get the drift. All right, beautiful. Wild Oak. This is a satin, and at first I didn't like it because I was like, I don't know. I for, I think I just forgot that this was a satin. I was expecting more shimmer. But once I understood what it was, I was like, oh. And then I started using it with like, you can just do a really nice, soft, golden eye look with this, you know? And I, if you pair it with like a brown or like, you know, uh, a smokier matte oh this is stunning or you smudge out you do a smoky liner oh it's so pretty all right then I have this shade from unearthly and this was what I got to see if it was similar to fireball and I want to see how this one's doing as a, in relation to that because I haven't opened these because I I get scared to open these oh it's I mean that one's that's kind of dry but hold on oh oh Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Let me see what it's like in here. It's very similar. It's very similar to how the other one is feeling. They're a little dry on the top, but when you dig down, there's stuff to be had. There's like gold in them, their heels. Okay, I'm going to keep this. This this is the unearthly shade. What shade is this? It had a sticker on it, I think, and I can't remember what it was. If I can remember... I'm trying to put it up on the screen, but it had a sticker and I think it fell off. All right. And then this is my Tom Ford cream color for eyes. I believe this has been discontinued because I tried to link this in a video once and I could not for the life of me find it. And this is the shade platinum. So this shade is very basic. It's a basic like satin platinum shade, but that's what I like about it. <laughs> it's basic and it's beautiful. Look at that. It's just like a, just a beautiful, creamy, soft, satin platinum tone it's beautiful and a friend of mine gave this to me and thank you very much sophie i've gotten use out of that it is stunning love it beautiful all right guys so last but not least is this Surat. that is the this is the souffle eyeshadow in gridu i got this in my goodie bag at the creators and friends holiday party and i have used this a handful of times it's very weird it's like wet and like bouncy um and when you put a brush in it it picks up a ton of product but as you can see it doesn't look that disturbed right and i've used this a couple times but i've used it with a brush and it just gives like i can't even get it on my finger it's just weird it's such a weird consistency but it's weird in a way that's like not not it's just weird in a fascinating way because it applies so beautifully to the eye but it swatches terribly because you really do need a brush for this and it just feels wet and bouncy wet and bouncy but it, i'm hoping you can get something from that but it's so stunning on the eye it's just a very strange formula it's very it's it's souffle and like bouncy and wet and it, to the finger but not wet as you can see it's not wet like my hands aren't wet it just has that cold bouncy wet feeling but it's beautiful on the eye and it applies really well 
with a brush. I use my Ruffer 21 with this. Perfect. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we're gonna carry All right, on. guys, hands have been washed. And so now let me bring over just like random single shadows that I have. They're potted or I also have one from Victoria Beckham that's like her stick, like um, shadow. So I'm gonna show you these. Um, let's put them all over here. So get them all in one. Alrighty, so my Chantecais. I am not getting rid of getting rid of any of my Chantecais at the Mo. Um, this one is beautiful. I don't use it very often, but I do love it. Um, looks like that. Very stunning. It's like a beautiful brown, like satin tone. Um, not a not high sheen, but what I love about the Chantecai sh single shadows. These um, what do they call these? the luminescent eye shades what i love about these that um i think set them apart from a lot of other shadows is the fact that with these i'm able to create such a beautiful beautiful like gradient and these are very similar but this one has more shine to it as you can see so this one's more sad um is that you can create this beautiful deep gradient using just one shade depending on the method of, of application so if i wanted this to be like a satin i would go in with a blush a blush a brush and blend it out and then if i wanted to get more of that shimmer i would go over it after blending out with my finger and that's how i get that shimmer and it looks like this gradient of like two or three shadows in similar tone when it's really just one so they just are beautiful in that way i will say this one i wish it did have like a little bit of a difference as far as tone i like this one and i like the satin formulation of it but it's a little too similar in tone as you can see it's just flatter um but i'm not getting rid of them they're beautiful and they're also really expensive so yeah you know unless something was absolutely wrong with them i'm, I'm not getting rid of them i also have um what is this one this is elephant elephant and it's a shimmery taupe gray beautiful looks like this love this shit. look at i mean look at look at that guys come on and then i have this one which is in tiger and this is an emerald shade and it is one of the satin more satin shades so it looks really shimmery here but when you put it on it's kind of got like a scattered light effect it's not very pigmented which is my gripe with it but i think over something else this looks really beautiful Next up, I have this Surratt that I'm getting rid of, and this is the Prismatic Eyes and Scandal Eyes. This is just dried out, as you can see. I got this years ago, and I used it a few times, and it just dried out really quickly. So, yeah, this was in my fave, but I'm going to get rid of this because it's dry. And then I have this kit from Pat McGrath that I'm also going to get rid of, and it comes with all of these shades it's one of her if you remember the little packs that she used to do the little they have the sequin in them this is one set so this is all one one thing so it comes with this beautiful um this is the mercury pigment um looks like this stunning oh wow that is stunning maybe i'll keep that one i don't know <sighs> that's really pretty <gasps> i haven't swatched this in ages so i like high key forgot what they looked like um, so stunning. And then this one looks very much like, I would, rec I would say that this looks like one of the shades that is in Mothership One. Um, it's got that, except it's a little bit looser and, but it's like that, sh that one of her special shades that has like that blue reflect, um, except not as, um, it's more scattered like that. That formulation is, this, it, this is baked, but that one is drier this is dry too but that one's drier okay so it just seems like she kind of took this formula and kind of tweaked it and perfected it and i do prefer that formulation to this one so i'm going to get rid of this one and i have that palette so this is a black and it's just really dry it kind of reminds me you know what this is this is like that eye cold but in a flat formulation and i just use the pencil it's easier <laughs> And then we have this, um, let me set this over here so I'm keeping that. This is like the jelly. And this one is really interesting because again, it's very similar to this one except in jelly formula. And I'll show you guys what I mean. It just gives a gloss to the, to the eye, but if you, you see that shimmer to it, 
it's kind of, you see how similar it is to that? It's just glossy. It's very, um, it's very pretty, but I would, I don't do glossy lids. So you see how, you see what I mean? Look at that. That's, this is the, the this jelly. How pretty is that? But I just don't use this. I don't reach for it. It's pretty. This, this, kit was very like it feels like OG Pat and she was really doing exciting things you know really like cool things which she doesn't really do anymore let's be real um but I don't need that and this is the ultra blue pigment look at this and this actually does look like an another shade in one of her palettes I'm gonna swatch this for you but this I feel like I want to keep <laughs> because I don't have a, like I mean uh, come on I'm keeping that just blew me away just swatching that I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god so yeah I'm I'm keeping that I'm gonna take this this wet one off because it's getting all over everything this is another reason why I don't like glossy lids okay glossy lids are great for photos but if you're unless you're taking IG photos constantly you don't need it all right my two single Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadows. Okay, they just came out with some new colors that I'm very tempted by. But this is Space Cowboy, the one that everyone loves. I don't love this. I'm going to keep it because I think it'd be good for reference. But this just doesn't do for me what it does for other people. It just doesn't. This is very almost frosted on my eyes. Um, and I think if your skin tone is my, if you're my skin tone or deeper, it's just going to look frosted because the shimmer is so silver. And that's my gripe with a lot of the Urban Decay ones because this is Moon Dust and Lithium and this is in the old packaging. A friend of mine sent this to me and it's the same issue. It's beautiful, but look, lots of shimmer, um, silver shimmer. And this one it has more has more pigment, like um, base pigment. I would love if it we had one that was like, had that light pigment base with a gold. That would be perfect, but these are both very silvery. They're pretty on the eyes, and Space Cowboy I'm going to keep because it's, you know, it's Space Cowboy and it needs to be good for reference. I do have it in that little Moon Dust um, Quartet palette, but I do like having it as a single. So, yeah, these are the two Urban Decay. I'm going to keep them, but those are my issues with the Urban Decay, and I'm wondering if the newer shades have the same issue. I'm hoping that they kind of brought in some diversity in their, the, the shimmers that they use, the glitter that they use, and it's not all just like silver glitter, you know. All right. Then we have this shade from Half Magic, and I'm actually keeping this, and you guys know if you saw my review of that brand, I was not that impressed with the majority of what I tried, but this shade here, and this is is wet pebble this shade guys and this is just a single shadow but i'm keeping it in this pack. look at look at this look at that omg so stunning this actually blew me away and i've used it since then quite a bit and it's just oh and look how it blends it just keeps going because and it does have like that wet i mean look at this look how this just keeps going it just gives that wet mm. This is kind of what Lithium wants to be, but isn't from Urban Decay. I'm just going to say it. All right. Next, we have this shade from Moira. This is a Loose and Cream Shadow in the shade Phoebe. This is stunning. Look at that. This is stunning, guys. This is so... It's just like a beautiful gold with a bit of a shift, but not completely and it's just pretty it's just pretty i want to try more from moira I, their stuff has been hit or miss but mostly hit i will say there's a couple things i didn't love but there's been things that i that blew my mind and i just think oh so pretty keeping that then i have this single color pop and this is a yellow i'm gonna get rid of this i have yellows in palettes i don't need a single yellow and this is the shade i think this is paper tiger um and then I have my Odin's Eye. Now, when I bought these, I bought, um, which one is this? James? I think this is James. And, or St. James. And I really thought this would be the, the winner for me. I thought this was going to be the love of the, of the bunch. And it's pretty. But as you can see, for such a, for sh this kind of formulation, it's not that, like, excite like I felt like this one from Have Magic is more interesting than that. So I was a little bummed about how flat this fell for me. Um but 
I'm probably going to keep it. Um, but the shade that I went into knowing that I was absolutely going to love is this shade here. And you've seen this shade everyone, everywhere. Yes, this is Lyon. This is the one that everybody like raves about. And it is just as stunning as you have seen online. It's just as stunning as it's always been. Same as it ever was. I will say... I think the newer that like the newer batch is a bit smoother than the one that I have. I got them when they first released, so I do feel like the the newer batch is a bit smoother. But it's a, matte, a red metallic. I don't wear red red eyeshadow or red metallics very often, but baby, they are some of the the they are the the shadows that just make me salivate. They're so stunning. Um, and then I have which one is this? Dimitri. This one is pretty, but it doesn't have much of a shift to it. It's it's. Um, it's kind of like a purple shift, but I feel like I'll show you next to the Pat McGrath because the Pat McGrath is kind of a very similar tone. I mean, look at that. The Pat is kicking Leon's butt. Is it not? Is it not? Am I going to get rid of Leon? <sighs> I don't know. Probably not. I will say that the way the light hits this has more ref a little bit more reflect. It's not dual chrome or multi chrome or anything like that, in my opinion. It just kind of hits the light. So this one, even though this one is more pigmented, this one has more impact. If you, I don't even know if the lighting is picking that up. So for that reason, I kind of want to keep it. So yeah. And then I have this bad boy. This is a stick. This is one of the what are they? What does she call these? These are her long wear cre crease proof eyeshadow sticks. I have it in the shade caramel. I talked about the component with this and how unhappy I was with it because this is loose. This falls out. When I got it, I opened it up and it literally fell out. Now that could have been just from transit, the cold air, what have you, but these are very expensive products. So it made me bummed out, you know, it bummed me out. But having said that, I've still managed to get a lot of use out of this. It's stunning. It's just this beautiful, look how creamy that is. I love this all over my lid. Oh, and then I'll go over it with one of the pencils, like her, either her pencil or um, Mac Teddy and get, do like a smoky liner. Oh, stunning. And then this is a shade and I think I have this shade and this is just a shade, random shade that I got as a free gift that I'm going to give away to someone or something. It's Arizona. And I actually think I have this in like a palette, it's just like a Natasha Denona throwaway. So I'm just going to give that away. All right, guys, let me package up all of the stuff that I'm keeping, and then we're going to go through everything that I decluttered, and that will be the end. Hold one second. All right, guys, so let's count up what I decluttered. Oh, I found one more Stila that I had forgotten about, and let's see what this one's doing. Let's see if this is going to... up, oh, up. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, decluttered. All right, guys, so I have gotten rid of in this category of like single eye products, 62 items. This is probably the second biggest declutter so far in the series as far as total number of items that I'm doing away with, which is wild to me. Um, but yeah, that's not bad. I feel good about that. Like I have, I retained a decent amount, but I also got rid of a lot because I also, like I said, I didn't realize I had this many single products, like if, including liners and things like that. It just, as I was taking things out, it, I was like, oh, wow, 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 wow. So yeah, so I feel good about this because I feel like everything that I have left are things that I will actually remember and use. So, and that's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. So, if you enjoyed today's video, guys, please be sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next one. And the next one will be eyeshadow palettes. Yes, the big kahuna. Bye now.